thing. Um, so let's talk about Silent Hill 2 Remake. Just finished it. Obviously, the credits are rolling. And uh, I got to say, um, first and foremost, Bloober did an amazing job. Uh, they did so much better than I think anybody gave them initial credit for. Uh, when we first heard Bloober was doing this game, it was kind of like, oh, Silent Hill Remake. Oh, this is going to be amazing. And then, oh, Bloober's doing it. Right? Like, it was not expected, and they hadn't done anything near this caliber before. This is their biggest undertaking. They never even did combat before. And by and large, they did it justice by the original. It felt good. The atmosphere was great. Uh, the mechanics were great. It was really well done, and I thoroughly enjoyed this game a lot. Um, the combat was a joy to use. I loved their combat mechanics. Um, it felt eerie most of the way through. The music, the atmospheric sounds, everything was on point. Graphically, it looked gorgeous. It was easily twice as long as the original, if not longer than that, which just was really nice to see them lengthen out some parts. And I loved it. I thought the game was great. I'm happy we got what we got. And it far surpasses all my expectations I had for Silent Hill 2 Remake. That being said, there are things that I wish would have gone down a little differently. First and foremost, Maria's voice actor for this game didn't deliver. I don't know if it was bad direction. I don't know if, you know, what the reasoning is for this. But time and time again, the lines were read flat, underwhelming, real lack of emotion in like everything, which is I think why the only section in the entire game where the voice acting actually comes through and sounds like it should, and the scene was delivered properly, was in the labyrinth when she's in behind the bars and you talk to her and it's that pivotal change in, in emotion and character and it's just supposed to be flat and deadpan because that's what it was in the original. That's what this is supposed to be. Very mysterious flat bed, uh, deadpan delivery. And they delivered on that but they didn't deliver a single other point in the game. There was no enthusiasm, no excitement, no playful nature when you meet them at the lake. There was nothing there. It was very flat, like almost like they're annoyed that you're here, which isn't the tone of the original at all. And was just kind of be like, you know, she's supposed to represent a lot of James' frustrations frankly sexual frustrations that he has during this whole thing and this manifestation of somebody different and it just the delivery there just felt flat like almost like she was annoyed with him and it was weird it's just weird hospital scene same deal flat weird the labyrinth appropriate um towards the end here that letter first going down the hallway when she's reading uh, that last interaction, or they're saying that last interaction they had between James and her, one of their last interactions, you just couldn't feel any emotion. It was just like, okay, like, you know, get away from me, all this and that. The original, you felt emotion. You felt that fear, that scaredness in the voice of dying, of lashing out, but then not really wanting anybody to go away and just, just the gravity of the situation. And that wasn't there at all and then you come to this last letter it's like where was the emotion in it there wasn't any it was flat red with almost like a slight you know grumbling low grumble <laughs> to the voice or um i'm forgetting the right phrase for it but uh, just a scratchiness to it to make her sound kind of sad but it doesn't deliver on any point and it just felt like a so what letter and it bummed me out a lot that, you know, debatably, 
the most important voice actor of the game because James, James voice actor did a great job, but the tone range for James just inherently isn't going to be huge. He's confused. He's going through a lot. There's a lot to digest. He's seeing things that he strangely kind of accepts, but is also kind of put off by it. But it's this, this middle range of emotion between like, you know, one and four. And Maria trying to be, you know, both Ma the Mary, Maria, um, flirtatious, deadpan, serious, sad, back and forth between Mary and Maria is supposed to have this range from one to 10. And the range was equally the same as James as one to four. The range wasn't there. And it was a bummer. Um, really biggest gripe of the whole game was that. And frankly, if Bloober sees this criticism, and I've heard I'm not the only one that feels about this, they need to Peter Dinklage this situation. I'm serious. Like, the game is so fucking good. If they could go in and either have them reread all of their lines with better and more appropriate direction, or just recast them with somebody else who can deliver the lines, do it. Patch it over this game, just like Bungie did with Peter Dinklage canceling him out and putting a new person over in Destiny, do it. This is the one big thing holding this game back and making so many important scenes not deliver. Besides that, the only other maybe non-deliver was Laura when she comes in after James just finished watching the tape. Emotion wasn't there. Scene was read somewhat flat. No facial emotion or anything. It was kind of a bummer for the big reveal to be kind of just flat. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. Besides those things, which are definitely big things, uh, the game, as I said, was great. I wish they wouldn't have had the white cloth around transversal areas because it just pointed it out too much. You didn't need it. You could see all the areas. It should be an accessibility option. Turn it off if you don't want it there. If somebody maybe does have a hard time seeing some of these things, that's fine. Have it as an option. But it ruins the immersion seeing these white cloths everywhere pointing you where to go. I don't want that. I want to find it out. I want the mystery of trying to figure out my way, not a hand-holdy look for the white rag. I'm just saying, I didn't like it. That, and as a weird one-off point, just as one last small criticism, uh, some of the animations, particularly curtains, were only coming at like 15 to maybe 20 frames per second while everything else was you know, like 100 frames. I know that's a limitation they put on for whatever reason. They should at least double that frame rate. It was another one of those things that kind of takes out the immersion a bit. Not a huge deal, just, you know, increase it a little. Give us give us a little more frames there so it doesn't look so out of place. But um, that's kind of it. I, I like the game. I liked it a lot. I got to say, though, for a game that could frankly be a 10 out of 10, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I had a really good time. The voice acting killed it for me, though. They're just those moments. I couldn't experience those moments, and I wanted to experience them again almost for the first time with this redone game. And with time after time after time, with the deadpan delivery, the underwhelming inflections in the voice, just not having proper reads uh, with Mary Maria's voice actor. It just, the important stuff in this game just didn't happen. The one thing in this game that did happen was the Angela scene, which was greatly improved. It's like they got it. They either got the good voice directing or they're just, frankly, better voice actors. I'm trying to be mean to the cast, but how come they delivered so well? But then the actual, potentially most important character in the entire game just didn't. Right? It's a little bit of a bummer. So, yeah. Uh, one last uh, note here, and then I'm going to catch you and see what everybody's saying after my little rant here. I genuinely liked how they extended a lot of stuff. Uh, the hotel was easily two to three times as long as the original 
or excuse me, not the hotel, the apartments, was easily two to three times as long as the original apartments. The hospital, easily twice as long as the original hospital. Oh, please don't tell me the music just stopped. I need music. There we go. Um, the uh, labyrinth prison area, much, much longer, easily twice, maybe three times as long. It was really, really good to see these lengthenings of the area. I wish they would have let some of the town more open and explorable, like after the hospital. It felt very A to B where you had to go. You couldn't really free roam like you could in the original. That felt a little restrictive. And I was surprised that the hotel was as short as it was. With every other point in the game being elongated so much, the hotel felt as long as the original hotel, which shocked me. I expected the hotel, I, I expected us to still be going through the otherworldly side of the hotel at this point. And it was just as long as the original, which on, on one hand is maybe good, that once we watched the tape, it kept to the original of kind of going out, like what you saw, it was over. That stuff had ended. It's now time to, to get to business. But I was a little surprised that it wasn't elongated like everything else was in the game. Small gripe, but more interesting than anything. But yeah, eight out of 10 because of the voice acting and because of a uh, Laura's lack of expression and stuff during the pivotal key moment when they watch the tape. But let, let's see what everybody's saying here. Let me scroll up a bit, because I've been ranting for a minute. Things are similar parameters to OG, some new specifics, but you, you intentionally go for an ending with the same approach you would have the OG. You likely have this, the ending you want. Okay, well, that's cool. Which in detail is fantastic, and there's two things most people don't discuss that change at the end you'd like to mention. Yeah, please do. Please do. Uh, well, you're not the only one. Many people said it. 100% agree. Uh, my message failed to send. Oh, Twitch does weird things. Uh, found out. Couple thing. Determines the credit to an ending to- Really? So if I had chosen the other apple, it could have given a different ending. That's kind of interesting. You went 7 out of 10 for the gripes. You had averages 8 out of 10. Most people gave it 8, gave it 8. Yeah, I said a solid 8. Voice bits kept it from a 9. They were afraid to be for it going too long thing. To change the inventory background and save frames after room 312, the tapes and points you think really sold their love of the game. They definitely had a love of the game because you can tell that they respected the original material a lot. And they really tried to do it justice. And, you know, frankly, if the gripes with the voice acting would have been solved, if the Laura stuff after the big reveal um, had not been that bad, like just those two major things, I would have probably given this like a solid 9.5. It would have rose at a solid point and a half to almost perfect. And I'd say almost perfect and not fully perfect because there were, there was just a little things here and there I, I felt kind of held it back. The openness of the town, the incessant white cloths telling you where to go, um, just stuff like that, like little, little nitpicky things that make it so I can't say it's perfect. But... Man, I, I wish I wish they would patch it. I really wish they would hear all these gripes and say, you know what? We, as Bloober, want this game to be our legacy. Right? Like, I know, like, Bloober has a lot of their own IPs, and, and they've done some cool games. This is the most important game they've ever done, and debatably could potentially be the most important game they'll ever work on. It literally means that much to the horror community, and has is such a staple and I think they realize that for the most part, but I want them to hear people's criticisms on those two things. Mary Maria's voice actor and the section with Laura right after the big reveal. Redo that, release a patch, and then the game would be golden. It would be a solid 9.5.
on the edge of perfection. And, you know, just, it would be something just incredibly fucking good. And it still is incredibly fucking good. It just could have been really good. But you don't get those deliveries, man. When you don't get those deliveries, it really holds it back from being something truly special. It's so important. And they, they goofed. You personally didn't like the combat, the voice acting for the most part. So Angela felt that there was an extension of each area that was cool, but without some kind of guidance or notes or made things very confusing. Strictly where you wanted to go, you felt very lost at times. I mean, that's, that's fair. I mean, everybody's going to have their own experience. I felt the extension to the areas, from my own experience, was actually pretty good. I, I think I only got really lost once in one area. Um, I guess twice. Once in one area, and then the labyrinth. I misread some of the ladder numbers and uh, kind of goofed myself pretty hard. But, um... In fact, James Reeves looked at the scene after you save. That guilty look is great. Is it the background? The inventory is cleared up. James shows something. Smothering Mary. Apparently, they're all along. Hmm, interesting. Overall, you got you played it again. Was in love with the remake. Very dedicated. I mean, the OG is, is the OG, right? It's incredible. This is their vision of the game. Is it? Their vision of the game is fine, and it's all well and good to say, like, oh, here's our vision of something, and that's fine. But... They got to be able to take the criticism, and their vision, by and large, was good. It's just two adjustments. One was big, which is the voice acting uh, for Mary Maria, and then the other is just that scene with Laura, which, you know, could be reworked. And if, if they're not there seeing this and saying, like, shit, they're kind of right, then Bloober has some real thinking they got to do, because there's no reason they shouldn't see that. Um, could have used some uh, the combat could have used some balance maybe, maybe a little more balance it wasn't horror, it was way better than the original and for their first attempt at combat I thought they did excellent but you know, maybe a little more balanced um, I had some scarcity I don't know, like I I felt there were almost at times too many items but then I, I ended up using all the ammo sometimes by the skin of my teeth but still making it. But again, like everybody's playthrough is going to be different. Everybody is going to be very, very